Thank you to Chair Inez Barron for your leadership of the Committee on Higher Education and for your introduction of a resolution in support of President Obama's America's College Promise program, which I'm a proud co-sponsor. Thank you to CUNY's Hunter School of Social Work for my graduate students in social work who are doing their field placements in my office and as we speak are helping thousands of my constituents every year. Thank you to CUNY Law School for the free housing clinic that I currently offer in my office on Thursdays every other week. And thank you to CUNY's faculty, staff, and re retirees like my mother for all that you do every day. I'm Council Member Ben Kalis. I'm a graduate of not one but two public universities in New York. And without a public option, I could not have afforded to pay for higher education. But sadly, I, like so many Americans, remain saddled with debt that at times can be crushing. I've been advocating for free CUNY and debt forgiveness for some time now. President Obama has proposed the America's College Promise, offering free community college to many students, and Governor Cuomo has proposed <coughs> debt forgiveness for college graduates whose income remain low after graduation. That's public uh, university graduates. Uh, does CUNY support these initiatives, and how much will it cost to implement? And I'm just going to follow along with my additional two questions, which is, According to data from CUNY, 58% of full-time undergraduates are receiving enough federal or state tuition assistance to attend CUNY tuition-free, with many more receiving partial tuition assistance. Uh, rather than just trying to figure out uh, the cost piece by piece, what additional resources would CUNY need or funding in order to provide all CUNY students to earn a four-year degree tuition-free? And last but not least, in terms of return on investment, how much more do CUNY graduates make with an associate's degree, college degree, or graduate degree than they would with no degree? Okay. Thanks, Council Member uh, Kalos. Um, I'll talk about the, the um, programs at the federal level and, and at the state level, and then talk a, a little bit about um, you know, your other question about you know, what a free CUNY might, might look like. Um, so at the federal level, as you mentioned, President Obama proposed um, America's College Promise, which would um, call for essentially the first two years of community college to be free to students who have a 2.5 grade point average um, over that time. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, Chair Barron um, had a hearing on, on this last week, and certainly grateful to, to, um, to the chair for, um, for calling attention to this, uh, to this issue of access to community colleges, and we're certainly grateful that President Obama is calling attention um, to the needs of community colleges. I think, I think it's great that um, on the federal level that folks are focusing on the community colleges, because when you look throughout the country, um, you know, the overwhelming majority of students are in, are in community colleges, so they, they are a, a place of need. Um, as we stated at the hearing last week, we certainly support um, the premise of, of trying to um, make uh, community college more accessible for students. We do have some concerns about um, the President's proposal and some questions that I think we need some further clarification on. Um, and we talked about those at, at last week's hearing. Um, but in terms of certainly the, the concept of, of making community college more accessible to students, um, you know, we, we think is a good thing, but we, but we do have some concerns about, um, about the details of the program. At the state level, Governor Cuomo proposed the, the Get On Your Feet um, Loan Forgiveness Program, and what that program would do is um, students who graduate from um, a college in New York State and remain in New York State for, for five years and um, who earn less than $50,000 um, if they are part of the federal pay-as-you-earn program, um, which um, helps students pay back, stretches out the payments that they have to make if they have federal loans, what the governor is proposing is for the first two years, the state will pick up the difference. So the, the federal pay-as-you-earn program doesn't totally forgive students. They still have to make some payment. It's just it stretches it out longer, which is helpful. So the governor is proposing that they'll, they'll cover the first two years. And again, conceptually, we certainly support anything that will help our graduates um, in terms of um, getting on their feet and, um, and getting accustomed to um, you know, um, being in a postgraduate situation and helping them pay back their loans. Um, in terms of 
CUNY, um, only about 15% of our graduates graduate with federal debt. So we're very, very fortunate. Um, and just, just to give a comparison, um, at NYU, the last data point that, that I saw on this, um, it's about 43%. Um, so in terms of private colleges, we know that many more students are graduating with, with debt. But we do have about 15% and certainly with anything that can help those students um, in their postgraduate you know, life, we're, we're, we're supportive of. Um, getting to your question about you know, free, what a free CUNY would, would look like and what it would cost. Um, so we, we do have tuition revenue at the university. That's, that's a very large component of our total operating budget. Um, as, as was mentioned earlier, so many of our students get Pell and so many of our students get TAP. And so the amount that students are paying out of their pocket um, would be the amount that would have to be covered if we wanted to have a free CUNY. But as much as um, Pell is supportive of our students, as much as TAP supports our students, it's still a large number. It's, it's well over a half a billion dollars um, that students are paying out of pocket. So. Um, you know, that's what it would take in order for it to be totally free. Um, but again, anything that we can, that we can do to, to provide additional access to the university, we're certainly willing to, to listen to and to consider. And then the, the final piece of that was just the return on investment. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so we, we, as a government, have to invest our dollars. So uh, do CUNY graduates of associate's degrees, college degrees, or graduate degrees earn more income than somebody without any degree in? Uh, do you have uh, those yeah. estimates? Yeah, we'll have to get back to you on that, council member. Um, we, we'll, we'll get that data, and we'll, we'll share it with you and with the rest of the committee. Uh, If you ask if you would, if you're going to give testimony, if you'd ask, identify yourself and enter your testimony. Thanks. Sarah Trulsch, a CUNY Director of Policy Research. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York estimates that the annual return on wages for a bachelor's degree above a high school degree is 56% per year, and that accumulates over a lifetime. The average return for an associate degree above a high school degree is 21% per year, which accumulates again each year over a lifetime. We're doing some research to speak to CUNY-specific um, differences in those. We don't currently have CUNY-specific numbers. Thank you very much. Uh, so it sounds like since our city earns its expense revenue, a $77 billion budget in large part to income tax, uh, something we could do short of having more billionaires would be more <laughs> New Yorkers with a CUNY education earning a living wage, uh, which would help build our base. And I think uh, last but not least, I'm working on making our government as transparent as possible. And I've been lucky to have support from MIT, uh, now NYU's GovLab, but um, as a graduate of a public university, I would really love to have support from CUNY. So beyond the CUNY Law School support and the CUNY uh, Hunter uh, Social Work School support, uh, to the extent CUNY has uh, students who are interested in making their government more transparent, I would uh, be honored and lucky to have your support. Thank you.